Hello and welcome to today's GTA Online video. We are going to be talking about cars that don't, that you don't really see driving around because they're not, either they're not good, they're not weaponized, they're not fast, various reasons. Uh, but this is also going to be going through some of my personal vehicles um, and why I have them and everything and all that. So, first off, we are going to be doing the Ocelot Link, which is L Y N X, I think. Um, which it, I don't know why it's not very popular. Because this thing looks amazing, as you can see by the customization options, you can have very different types because of the different bumpers and everything. It's one of them cars where the bumper option actually changes the front of the car rather than just the bumper. So it actually gives it a different look, which I especially like. It also looks very nice in the grey that I've got it in. It's very much of a... Not a menacing car, but um, it's very, it looks good. Like this is, this is one of very few cars that I would actually want in this game. The price is a bit steep at 1.7 million, but ask yourself, how many times have you seen this car being driven around in free roam? Me, honestly, never. I may have once, but you never see this car being driven around. So you would literally have one of the most uniquest vehicles in the game, because no one ever drives it. Performance-wise, it does have its downfalls, as does any other car. Um, it's not quick. Well, it's fast. But it's a comfortable fast, so this is a good, even with fully upgraded, it's a comfortable fast. Um, with it being a, a slow fast speed, you can get some, you can get some decent driving experiences out of it. Um, it does have a slight issue with turning. One, it's got a very wide turning circle. Um, and it's one of cars where if you hit the curb just right as you go around the corner, you will go on two wheels, uh, which there will be some examples of that later on. Um, but performance-wise around the test track, um, it's obviously, we're going to have a look at the test lap in a minute. Um, but before we do, I'm just going to point out, I did do it using a custom version, because obviously this is not the fastest sports car. And we know that already from previous lists and videos that people have done. So this isn't the fastest. So I didn't feel any need to do it against other stock vehicles. I'll still put the time on with the rest of them. Um, but... Just letting you know that the lap time with this car is with a custom vehicle, not the stock. Um, so let's have a look and see how that does. And so we're just getting the race started off. I'm going to be doing commentary on this one. I know it's a bit different, but we're not going to be putting this up against anything. This is more of just personal opinion. So obviously, as normal for every start racing, we're going to start with the um, engine going full so we don't get the launch boost or any advantages. There we go. If I'd kept that turning, we would have eventually rolled. But yeah, if you do catch it right, you can go on two wheels. Just going down the straight, got the couple of tight turns, which actually it does quite well around tight turns. Notice that I am actually having to go a little bit slow because of the understeer perfect example there um, going around the corner with not much happening again with that one not as tight but still having to go around at a slow speed um, does affect the acceleration the acceleration isn't that bad but with having to go slow and then suddenly speed up it does 
slide a bit. Uh, and then obviously here we come at the full straight with getting some max speed going on all the way to a tight turn of a left hand side didn't handle it too badly um, second straight away for a top speed going on all the way to the soft well the, the, the wide turn finishing with the tight turn just here doesn't do too badly no tire smoke or spinning straight down to the finish and the time is I can't remember what it was. Let's have a look. 136 triple six. So yeah. That's it's not the slowest, but it's also not the fastest. Uh, I will just go and have a look now to see where that comes in the lap time board. And the final result. Um, it's slower than the Neon, the VSTR and the Thrax, obviously the DevStay and the Tally GTO and all that. Um, but, I mean, a custom, that's not to be really unexpected, but a custom Ocelot Lynx. Now, it is faster than a stock Zentorno, only just. Um, but it is faster than the pariah as stock. So if you're going against someone in a stock pariah, uh, an Ocelot Link at custom will do the job nicely against it. Being 139, no, what, yeah, 139 dead, being the pariah 136 with the links. Um, but an overall estimate it is a very nice car to drive um, the understeering not that difficult to actually get control of I like, like it doesn't take long to get used to that so that's pretty simple um, to do and some shots here of going through a nice I love this bit of road because it's fast turns no buildings or anything, not really many trees, um, but a lot of lovely turns, obviously easier if the traffic wasn't there, but overall I like this car mainly, it's good with appearance and what it lacks with speed it makes up in customization options because you can have so many different types of bumpers, um, it really gives many different variations of the car. So, there's many different styles, only two liveries, but honestly, I think it looks better without. Um, but yeah, most of the, most, people tend to forget, I think, most cars that have liveries from the Cunning Stunts DLC, you can get rid of them liveries, and you can have it as a normal car. So you can get some pretty, again, some unique vehicles, because no one tends to use them because they're not fast, or weaponized, or armoured. But then again, if no one uses them and you've got one, <clears throat> you're probably going to be the most uniquest car person in the game. <coughs> or that lobby. <clears throat> anyway. But, that is the first vehicle of my personal vehicles list, along with cars you don't really get to see around a lot, and are quite unique. So, Post your comments down below, let me know what your, what your thoughts are of the car, if you have any specific vehicles that you like. Um, if I get enough, or if I get any, I may include them in the beginning of the next video that I do of this kind of topic. Um, but it's not going to be a routine thing, it's more just going to be something that I do when the vehicle comes along. Um, but obviously... In anticipation of next Thursday, of what Rockstar will introduce new wise into the game, rather than just the podium vehicle. Will there be something special? Will there be something unique? We don't know. We will have to wait and see. So, thank you very much for watching. Leave any comments. 
like if you enjoyed and if you did enjoy and want to see more then don't forget to click the subscribe button along with the notification bell to get notifications of upcoming videos i will see you next time and peace out